Hello, this is Kerlinda with Kerlinda Can Cook, and as the title says, today we are going to be making Caribbean stew beef with coconut dumplings, so get ready, get set, let's go ahead and cook. In this bowl here, you will see that I have five pounds of brisket, that is the stew beef with the bone in. This is what I prepare for my family, as this is what my husband loves. For you and your family, you can make whatever kind of uh, stew beef you want, it doesn't have to be fancy smancy. I'll go ahead and leave the full recipe in the bottom so don't worry I'm just going to give you a quick run through of what I have in this bowl. I have carrots, bell pepper, tomato, white potatoes. I also have some black pepper, thyme, scallions, um, I chopped up some garlic, ginger powder, salt, all-purpose seasoning, soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, ketchup, and paprika. Now what I've done here is I've gone ahead and mixed everything up in my bowl with my hand so that all of my uh, flavors can incorporate. You go ahead and take this and stick it in the refrigerator cover for about an hour or two. You can actually do this a day ahead, but at minimum cover it for about an hour or two so all of your flavors marinate together. Now I also have a quarter cup of oil oil as well as a third cup of brown sugar that I have added to this pot. What I'm going to do is melt my brown sugar down in the oil so that I can get a nice amber color to be able to add my meat and I will get that beautiful color on my meat and you will see it here in a second. So once you melt your brown sugar down, this is what you want to see, something that looks like this. You want to keep it stirred so that you don't burn it because if you burn it, it's going to ruin your pot. Once you add your meat in, you're going to... um. Add your meat into your pot a little bit at a time, and you're going to stir your meat. As you stir your meat, your meat is going to begin to pick up the amber color from the brown sugar in the bottom of your pot, like you see here. You'll stir your meat for about a good five minutes so that you'll be able to get all the color, and then you'll also see the natural juices start to come out of the meat as the meat uh, begins to wrap itself in the brown sugar. So at this point, what you do is you put a lid on, it and you're going to let that reduce down some and you're going to leave your lid on your pot for about a good five ten minutes uh, and you'll start to see something like this this is where the liquid is reducing down so that you're getting the really good natural flavors out of your meat from all the seasoning and everything you put in it after about a good 10 to 12 minutes you'll have something that looks like this it's going to reduce down a little bit more so that you uh, have gotten all the juice out once you get all the juice out, go ahead and add your vegetables in on top of your meat. There's no need to stir it at this point. Just leave it all on the top of your meat and add about four cups of water. Once you add those four cups of water in, you're going to go ahead and put your lid on it. And you're going to put this up on about a medium high heat. And you're going to let it simmer for about an hour. Now, if your stove is really hot, you can put this on a medium heat and let it simmer for about an hour. That's totally fine. Once you do that you're going to have something that looks like this at this point you're going to get ready to add your dumplings into your pot so that they can begin to cook and get tenderized in your pot so go ahead and whip up your dumplings at this point if you have not already done so and let's get ready to add them in so that you can see the magic that happens now, at this point, you're going to begin incorporating your dumplings in. So, um, you can just leave them on the top for about five minutes. Go ahead and put your lid back on your pot. And you're going to leave them on the top for about five minutes so that the steam can cook them a little bit before we get ready to stir them into the pot as well. So, now after about five minutes, you go ahead and stir in your dumplings and you'll see they'll start to take on the uh, color of the pot. You're going to put your lid back on and you let this simmer for about a good 30 minutes so that your dumplings can get tender at this point you can go ahead and turn your stove up to a medium high heat for about the last 15 to 20 minutes because all you want to do is again reduce some of the liquid down as you tenderize your dumplings in your uh, pot so once you get it reduced down to the point of where you want it you're going to see that you start to get something that looks like this where you're seeing more dumplings the dumplings going to act also as a thickening agent for your for your uh, juice in your pot so that you'll be making more of a gravy into your uh, pot and then once you get all of that done honey you're almost done see how fast you just made uh, Caribbean stew beef with 
coconut dumplings just that quick voila you're almost finished all you're doing now is just letting it cook down a little bit more and if you want to you could take the lid off at this point let it just keep cooking and you'll see that uh it'll go ahead and uh reduce a little more and voila you'll get something that looks just like this and then now go ahead and start grabbing your plates honey because it's about time to plate this up for your family so everybody can eat see there just like that boom magic you went ahead and created the, your caribbean stew beef with your uh coconut dumplings you plated it all again this is Curlinda. thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this video with a friend